kissing the dog. straight to the business um i had to say salute to my people that support me um true is us as a family and a lot of friends even in between time uh, uh some haters it all mean the same thing justice for Dolph. so without further ado let me get to it They're looking at this nigga all right straight to the business all right South Haven, Mississippi, has always been a lot of parts of Mississippi. Emphasis on South Haven, while everything is connected. And this nigga. Before I continue, just remember, there's a lot of um, questions unanswered. But when I'm talking about Mississippi, and I'm not fit to, I'm not fit to talk that long. Just remember, Jigger, y'all nigga, Jay Z, and a big head motherfucker, no door. Got it right. All of a sudden, cared about Mississippi prison reform, right? Don't worry about that. Um. Let me play y'all a couple of videos and paint a picture in case y'all didn't know. Shout out to Rollo <clears throat> uh, and the whole fam goon movement. One of Dolph real partners. As soon as he jumped out of goddamn jail, he went straight back to business. That's love against everything. Shout out to Rollo and the whole fam goon. Let me say that first. Now, I just watch this because I don't want to do no rambling. But do your homework. Because truth is just follow me right quick. And before I start playing, just remember the first motherfucker that got arrested in a whole, I ain't going to call it no young dog case. But um, the first nigga that got arrested after my boy died was Cornelius Smith in South Haven, Mississippi. It's finna get real deep. Let go. Let's hold it. Show. Sure. 2019 incident in Olive Branch. Oh, y'all thought that's where it began at. Now, we ain't talking about no stalking. We talking about big business. Remember? Carpenter. The one that shot the off-duty lieutenant in MPD. And they totally suppressed that shit. Off-duty MPD officer. Then Olive Branch. I do it in the go way back in the day. Big business. Just hold it tight. Let's continue. And tell me what y'all really know. Because these are pieces of the puzzle. Anytime you connect. Mississippi. 
pew. I already told y'all. Cornelius got shot. What y'all waiting on? I already know it. Glover ain't the one who told me. Take your ass to South Haven, my nigga. It's hot. Flesh wound. True. Let go. It's just destroyed. For what reason, I don't even know. It's an orange man woman who got an early morning visit from the FBI, and she says this is how they left it. Her doors, windows ripped off her house. Fox 13's Daniel Wilkerson tells us what happened here. I checked to see why the FBI was even at this home. However, that case is sealed. Now, the F I know them motherfuckers. What you say? However, that case is sealed. Damn. What you mean? Y'all sitting up? Damn, this nigga bond condition sealed. And he in the same place where this shit happened. I'm about to be going somewhere. So everybody shit sealed, huh? Right? He already got, we've been getting away with probably real murder. Since y'all so last on him and got his bond condition sealed. Just wait till I finish. So you telling me this case has been sealed as well? And he just so happened to <laughs> got arrested? Show me everything leading uh, South Haven and all that brand Mississippi, huh? Okay, then. All right. Well, true. Let go. Now, the FBI did tell me over the phone that they did multiple court-approved search warrants on this street. In fact, you can see the evidence is still here this morning. There is a door, a window that was taken out of the home, even a post taken out. Take a look. Video obtained by Fox 13 News shows multiple simultaneous FBI court-authorized search warrants being served on homes on Ethel Street in Orange Mound. It happened early Tuesday morning, and this is what one of those homes looked like once the FBI made entry. I mean, I mean, it was terrifying. I was at work. This woman, who did not want us to use her name, says she got a call from her son at work. And I answered it. And they telling me I need to get home because these folks tearing my house up. She walked us through the house and showed us the damage. All in here, man. Daddy tore my house up. I'm at work. I don't know what's going on. These folks came to my house even like they want to do. Her doors and windows ripped off her home. Whatever it was they did that with, they knocked their junk in. I can't understand it. Once I saw the damage for myself, I called the FBI and they told me they did do a court approved search on her home. In fact, this is that warrant. You can see it was signed by a judge around 745 Monday night. Now, as for why the FBI was even there, well, we uncovered this document that shows that federal case is sealed. And you are So everything sealed, huh? <laughs> everything sealed, huh? Okay, then. All right. Remember, um, I'm just keeping yeah, I'm doing this on purpose. I'm just showing I'm showing y'all without even talking too much. Everything see her, huh? Well guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Y'all already peeping gang? Everything sealed surrounding your ass, huh? Now let's go back to where we started at. I'm trying to show y'all. <laughs> this is happening. What's your name? On oh, Mount Quay, huh? Ah. Uh -huh. What would you do? Not for no fucking Klondike bar. To not go back to jail. Beep. Seal, seal, seal. Because this is going to be the truth. Because we sick of it. <laughs> Whoever protecting you, plan. But the, the, everybody needs to know. You know? Word on the street. <laughs> Talking about from the barber shop and yeah, corner stores and shit, parks in Memphis. Not, not that kind of word on the street. But let me continue though. Let's take it back a little bit. Y'all gonna have to rewind this video. True. I told y'all I wasn't gonna talk. Let go. Back from the beginning. Watch this.
Of more breaking news to tell you about a former South Haven police officer in custody tonight. He's accused of helping local criminals steal cars. Fox 13's Lakia Scott joins us live from South Haven. Lakia, Tony Herring Jr. is also charged with stealing a car as well. All right. <laughs> Let's keep going. I ain't gonna talk too much. The face you're looking at um, lost his life. In um, the same place, everybody, all the suspects, in a young Dolph. Not case, but everybody going back to where he lost his life at. Let's get to the reason. It's going to get deep, y'all. It's going to get very deep. This is his face. And that's all I'm, I'm not for the talk. This is this is what I've been uh, paying attention to. So let's continue. My name's True. Best way to do it. Let me talk too much. Here we go. Thank you for joining us at five. We have new information tonight out of South Haven. A person is dead after DeSoto County Sheriff's deputies tried arresting someone at their home. ABC 24's Jay Shakur has been out in that Mississippi neighborhood all day. He joins us live. Jay, what do we know so far? That's right, Pepper. We, we know neighbors tell me that this neighborhood is pretty peaceful and quiet, but today that was not the case. We were told earlier by family that when sheriff's deputies executed that warrant that his family w was in the home, his wife and his three children. Very quiet. Like I said, it's a brand new subdivision. Wednesday morning, that calm community was disrupted. They never announced themselves as the police. Once he grabbed his firearm and headed down the stairs, he got shot in his f***ing back by them from the outside of the house. They never even came in the house. That man says he's the cousin of the victim, Demarcus Williams. He was it hurt. It hurt my neighborhood. The Mississippi Bureau of Investigation says they were notified just before 7 this morning about the DeSoto County Sheriff's SWAT team attempting to serve a warrant at a home on Clark Avenue. <laughs> Authorities claim the man pointed a weapon at them and they then shot at him in response, eventually killing the man. His cousin, who says he was in town to visit him, left with more questions than answers. Everybody hurt and devastated, bro. He just got out and started doing good for himself. Just had, he got a car business. He was selling cars, bro. He been out three years and ain't doing well for himself. And and unfortunately, they just took him. He grabbed his firearm because he heard glass shot in his house at five in the morning, just like any American to do. Now, no officers were seriously injured in this incident. We're still waiting to learn more about what type of warrant was issued. This is an ongoing investigation. Once NBI finish the, finishes their investigation, they will report their findings to the district attorney's office. Live in South Haven. Now, you see, I'm, I'm, I'm putting shit together with no words, right? Every time I cut scene, all this go together. Do your homework. It's enough information in this video for people that's good at paperwork. Now, this is your time. Just follow, pay attention to names. And Dana, if you ain't heard them, just let me continue. You see this fight now. And I take it back to the mound, right? From South Haven, where you got a rest of that, to where Cornelius is, all this shit. Long little flipper man. She ain't got shit to say. This work proof. Mm. And you all haven't had any previous warrants no, or police visit? No, or? sir. The ATF, they said FBI, all these folk, everybody was out here. I don't even understand why. We not we don't hurt we don't do nothing to don't nobody. I go to work and I come home. Don't do anything to anyone. Mm. Nothing.
But an FBI document given to her after the search shows what agents seized. They took a cell phone, three types of ammunition, but no weapons. The FBI did confirm to Fox 13 News they served multiple court-authorized search warrants on Ethel Street Tuesday morning, but would not say specifically how many. Memphis police confirmed they made one arrest, but it was unrelated to the searches. Back to the woman's home, which was searched. I'm, I'm just I'm just waiting on my land over because I have nothing else I can do. I asked and the FBI told me a landlord or tenant can request money from them to fix the home, the damages here, but they would not tell us what they take into consideration when approving those requests. For Good Morning Memphis, Daniel Wilkerson. <sighs> That got me fucked up to continue. Let me uh, interject a light. Look at dog. Look at man. Boy, that man. <laughs> I'm talking about even in school, flipper man. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, y'all flipper. You know what I'm saying? You know, even in, in, in school, I'm still flipper man. Just a light interjection. Um, not to get out the subject, just to keep it in, um, yeah, like I want to do this. All right, um, long live Flipper Man, justice for dog, for real. If you love him, ride for him, ride for him with everything you got, like true. Let's get it, continue. <laughs> I got a story to tell. Let's worry, let's go. Of more breaking news to tell you about a former South Haven police officer in custody tonight. He's accused of helping local criminals steal cars. Fox 13's Lakia Scott joins us live from South Haven. Lakia, Tony Herring Jr. is also charged with stealing a car as well. Correct, Darcy Daniel, according to the DeSoto County District Attorney's Office, Tony Herring, former police officer in South Haven. He's now facing two counts tonight. One of them is for conspiracy to commit a felony. The other is felony take auto, which basically means stealing a car. Now, DA Matthew Barton explains that Herring is accused of stealing a 2019 Infiniti Q60. Herring was arrested today and authorities say the crime was committed in the latter part of last year. They didn't provide an exact date, but I am learning that Herring was immediately terminated from the South Haven Police Department. Now, he is was arrested under something called a secret indictment. Barton explained. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go again. Every fucking thing that's connected is secret. Why? Why? This nigga bun. Every time I saw a nigga fight, I'm just like, I ain't even saying shit. I talk too much. Forgive me for my late night uh, turning myself up, but I deserve it. Just like everybody else. You can drink, I can drink. When I get tipsy, I'm going to pick up my fucking phone because I'm in my fucking feelings. Otherwise, this a focus version of me. Every time I saw a nigga face all over the screen, connect the dots, and you know, I don't let them ramble. So that shit, um, a secret indictment. His shit sealed. My shit sealed. But let me continue. True. Stay focused. Barton explains this was done to make sure the former officer didn't have a chance to get away. I was able to uh, apprehend this individual uh, without incident. When you have someone with police training, and firearm capabilities, you never know if they're going to be desperate or feel backed into a corner or how they may react. Yeah, so um, here we go. Right here, right now. This one, I'm going to cut it out. You know, everybody might hate it, right? So why why put the, um, well, I'm trying to stop talking too much. Y'all just read along. So y'all got the names, y'all got the vision, if I painted it well. And this is just a real part one. Yeah, cause we we ain't even made it back. See, this is this is this is what you know, because South Haven right near dope. All the branch is too. If you're a real member, nigga, you already know what to do. There's a connection somewhere in here. For all y'all people that do their paperwork, but let uh. Me, Ali Oopy, with no hate. 
because this is what it means. So, I really want to continue when I think I ain't gave up enough for my blood, sweat, and tears just to shut the fuck up. Because social media, what I'm learning, can't be influenced. I love my people that love me. I already know who y'all are. It's getting, <laughs> it don't get no real in this. If you, if you, yeah, if you got outside and can't hide, don't get no real in this. We poking a bear. Long little clipper name. It's supposed to be like that. No fear. Sometimes fear is good. But um, I'm just talking until I get to the last pick. Just make that understood. And uh, I got so much. Now I want, I want, <laughs> this is, this will lead you for everybody that's good at what they do. It's all for y'all, bro. Don't get no real in this. Shout out to Rallo. I said this for my third time, though. But you better do your do your homework. Y'all got the names. I gotta do a slow the video then. Rewind. If you the man. Can they be sick? And then you'll see. It's already known. A conspiracy. Yeah, everybody know run right to the same play, my nigga. <laughs> it's deeper than that. Like, share, subscribe. I will support, but only if you like what you've seen or enjoyed it or can relate. Cash out dollar sign true is us number two, but only if you want to and appreciate my sacrifices. And that's just as humble as I can get. Otherwise, we're going to put in this work. They might be with the shit. I'm going to see y'all later. Get in the comment section. Let me know how you feel. And tell. We'll see who can relate. Because it's a beautiful picture. Catch up. Sure.